Welcome back guys, this is Hyde with you and today I'm gonna be talking about how to install macOS theme on your any Ubuntu although today I'm gonna use Ubuntu 20.04 but you can use any other Ubuntu as well. Before start, I want to mention that this is a completely safe procedure, you can change the theme, you can go back to the default theme anytime you want just by using a simple app called Gnome Tweak Tool. So without any further ado, let's get started. first of all let's download all the file related to the macOS theme so we won't have any trouble later and also I'll put all the links in the description below so don't forget to check the description so you don't have any trouble to find all of these links uh, so first thing first let's uh, download the themes macOS themes uh, you will find it in the file section and you will see many themes here uh, just download whatever you want so here I want to download the first one Cat uh, Catalina Gnome, uh, Gnome Dark. You will see also the newest version uh, macOS theme here like uh, Big Sur. Uh, so you can download that theme also. So uh, here I downloaded uh, all three of them. Uh, and let's create a folder theme. So, so this goes to the themes folder. So now next thing is uh, let's download the icons. Um, here you also need to select the files and here we have the four file and you can see a screenshot of the of these icons. So you can decide which icon we will like. So this one is for the Cupertino and it's 26 megabyte and Cupertino Catalina is this one. So we have uh, two folder to file for the icons. I actually download bo downloaded both of them because I liked both of them. If you like one, you can just download it one. Uh, download one. And the next thing is Cupertino Capitan cursor cursor. So here we have the cursor theme. Uh, I don't. I need to download the first one, second one also. Ah, uh, you can see the screenshot if you wanna see a demo. And this one is for the dock. And we have uh, several theme for the dock. Okay, let's uh, move the uh, cursor icon to the cursor folder. Let's create a folder named cursor and move it there. Okay. Now we can download the theme for blank. So this is the first and let's download the night also, night theme also. So now we have two files. Here we are. So let's create a new folder for the doc. Okay, let's move them to the doc folder. Okay, Ubuntu is duplicating them, not moving them there. Okay, now let's uh, download. Actually, I download two theme. I think I will need more to show you. Okay, let's download the Catalina. I think I didn't download it, that file. And macOS Catalina White. So here we have the Catalina White theme for the doc. So we have Mojave, Mojave and Mojave White and Catalina and Catalina White. So we have downloaded all the files we needed. 
now let's install our application uh, gnome tweak tool this uh, application will help you to change the themes easily so let's uh, install that and this is the one gnome tweak tool so let's say uh, it's install okay let's hit the install okay i already did that so we have the gnome tweak tool here so let's open it so after opening that um, okay let's minimize that okay now from the appearance option option you can we will be able to change the themes so let's close it and let's set up our themes to do that you need to go to the home directory and just go to the home directory press ctrl h and it will uh, show you the hidden folder um, because we will work with the hidden folder here so we will need to create a new folder called dot themes make sure the spelling is correct and also we will need another folder named dot uh, icons these are the folders uh, files we just downloaded so let's extract it here this is the first one second one and the third one okay let's copy three of them copy and move them to the folder we just created and uh, it's dot theme home slash dot theme so let's extract the icons theme as we downloaded uh, two file there uh, it's 22 megabyte i think that's why it's taking time and also catalina theme for the icons okay it's also taking time so after extracting it uh, let's go back to the icons folder dot icons folder that we just created and and copy both of them and paste it there or drag them there so the next thing we need to do is change the theme and icon we just installed so go to in gnome tweak tool then appearance and here the application in the application sector section you will see this icon on the theme we just installed from there you can change it i think mac os catalina gnome dark is okay with me and from the icon section we as we as we installed two icon we can see the both of them here this is the this is the catalina icon cupertino catalina and you can see the icons has been changed icon has been changed all icons have been changed and this is the cupertino so i think i like cupertino catalina more so i'll keep it So you can see all the icons, all of them have been changed. So let's download, uh, go to the downloads folder and actually extract the cursor because we're going to need to change the cursor. Okay, that's it. And the, inside the cursor folder, there is another folder and the, inside that folder, there is two file with uh fa to file so this folder need to you need to co copy this folder and go to the icons and paste it there actually co your cursor icon folder theme also goes into the dot icons folder home slash dot icons so after um moving them you can see the uh, icon icon option macos icon option there uh, in the gnome tweak tool application so the next thing we need to do is uh, set up our dock 
So to do that, uh, okay, now you can uh, change the close button, minimize button to the left side uh, from la right. Uh, I think right one is okay with me, but I just showing you in case if you want to change it, change them there. So now let's install plank doc. Uh, to do that you need to open your terminal and then type sudo su to enter as root user and enter your password then enter then type sudo apt install plank. I'll put that command in the description below so don't forget to check the description. You, so you can just copy and paste that command. So we have completed installing our plank now we will need uh, another application called plank preference this will allow us to change the plank theme so that's why you need to install that so just in install it okay we are having problem because we moved minimize and close bound to the left to the left from right I think there is a bug here uh, let's place it to the right I think we should uh, wait for some time okay you can see the plank um, uh, to do that you just uh, type plank and open it and it's not like Mac OS plank so we need to change the theme to do that uh, you need to okay you need to open the downloads we have downloaded four themes for the plank so extract all of them first one second one third one and the last So after extracting them, let's copy all of them. Control C, then go to home directory, then dot local, then share, then where is blank? Here it is blank, then theme, and paste all four of the four full folder there. And if you download two, then just paste your folder. So now we need to open Plank Preferences. To do that, you need to open your terminal, then type Plank space dash dash preference, preferences. Then you will find uh, the preferences, and from here you can change your change the theme of preferences. Uh, so let's change it. You can see all the themes we just installed. They are what are uh, what was their name? What were their name? Okay. Megos Catalina, Catalina White, Mojave. You can see all of them. This is the Catalina theme. It's not like, like Catalina theme though. So let's try white. Uh, yeah, I think the white is white looks good. So I'll keep the Macos Catalina white theme. And you can play with the settings here. Uh, alignment size icon size icon zoom uh, change it as you like and uh, behavior i think intel hide is okay uh, better with me and this is the dark let's i think we need, will need the trash there uh, if you want to um, add something on the um, dog you just drag it into drag it uh, there or you can um, open the application and then right click then pin it so here you can see we add uh, all these three as we don't need battery as we are using desktop i just delete that i just deleted that you, to do that you need to just uh, drag to the desktop and it will be deleted from the dock so now let's download the wallpaper and this is the wallpaper for Catalina you can use any wallpaper of course I'm just showing you 
as I'm installing Catalina theme, I'm downloading the wallpaper for Catalina. So it is available in 4K, 5K and Full HD. So let's download the 4K edition. Okay. Okay, let's set it as wallpaper. So here we are. Here we have installed our macOS Catalina theme to our macOS uh, Ubuntu 20.04. You can see. So let's now hide the appearance. To do that, you need to open the settings, then add auto height. Just check the auto height, and uh, if you want to change the icon size, you can, of course, you can change it. So that's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed my video. If you do, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And if you didn't like that video, hit the like button and press the bell icon so you won't miss any update from me. And if you have any problem, don't forget to leave a comment below because I love to help you guys because you guys are awesome. So thank you guys. See you later.